वेलकम वेलकम मोथर जयंती शंकर वेलकम टू बुक्स फॉर यू पॉडकास्ट आई एम अजय तांबे द होस्ट एंड प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ दिस शो एंड दिस पॉडकास्ट इज ऑल फॉर द ऑथर्स एंड द रीडर्स टू नो एंड डिस्कवर द जर्नी ऑफ ऑथर द राइटिंग द थिंग दैट वाज इनसाइड द बुक व्हाट मेड देम स्ट्राइक टू दिस वी आर डिस्कवरिंग द ऑथर एंड द बुक सो वेलकम वेलकम टू द शो Hello, Ajay. Thank you for having me in the podcast, and great meeting you virtually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It it's good. It's good, and I was excited to do this interview. Like we've uh, we we were going to do this, but there was some delay with the scheduling and all. But now I'm excited that we are now having this interview at this moment. So, uh, yeah. before we talk about your book, uh, that's really uh, interesting, Tabula Rasa. Before we talk about your book, Tabula Rasa. i and the listeners would like to know about you more before we go on that like your journey your childhood struggles uh, the growing up phase uh, struggles what yes. happened the yes. phases and change what people can learn from that uh, we just want to discuss okay well uh, i am living in singapore for the 31 years for the past 10, 31 years okay uh, not recently uh, i didn't come to singapore recently So it's thirty-one years, very long period. Oh man! I came here when I was twenty-five, around twenty-five years of age. So okay. uh, in India, I grew up in many, many states of uh, the subcontinent. Okay. Uh, although I was born in Madurai, down south, mm-hmm. I I grew up in many, many states of uh, uh, India because my father was a central government engineer, civil engineer. Okay. Okay. He used to be always transferred from. Uh, every two three years, he oh. used to be transferred, okay. and so I grew up in so many places, <laughs> okay. and so I have seen so many cultures, so many languages, Amazing. and so many set of years. And as for me, uh, growing up was uh, never a struggle because I was uh, I was always uh, uh, protected uh, from outside world in that sense, not exposed to the outside world. Okay. I grew up as the first child of. Four children. I'm the eldest of the four children, and okay. uh, I, I I was naturally very uh, responsible. Yeah, yeah. the first child is always the, responsible. The yes. first, the big big sister and, <laughs> in the family. <laughs> the, yes, and uh, uh, the challenge for me was not the uh, you know changing schools, changing mm. uh, curri- curriculum, or even changing second language all the time. That those were not the challenges. Okay. Those first, in a way, yes, they were. But the the toughest challenge was for me, as a growing up teenager, mm-hmm. was the pain I got when I left my friends. So whenever oh. I later on, when I went on growing up. Yeah. I was so hesitant to make friends in the new school, yeah, yeah, yeah. new environment, because I knew I would have lose? to leave them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're they're going to be like uh, uh, left out after some time. Yes. Yeah. So, so, yeah, so that's I was hard. so scared to uh, get close to friends. That was yeah. the most challenging for me as oh. I grew up. Yes. Like okay, and, okay. <laughs> you must be having a lot of friends then. Yes, I do have. Even today, I make friends. I have friends from fifteen year old to, uh, you know, eighty <laughs> year old. All all uh, age groups. I have friends. That's not the thing. But during those young times, when yeah, we are not so mature. We are still so so yeah, so raw in the heart. Growing up, and to 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 be always. you know undergoing that pain of leaving friends yep, uh, yep. Uh, to to another place to another school all the time yeah. for 3 years that was years. like emotional <laughs> emotional struggles yes, like yes, yes. like uh, <laughs> like you can't play with the emotions and, here and being yeah, in that stage happens, emotions emotions are the biggest part here like uh, yes. between uh, between a teenage phase So yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So you've been through that hard time, like you know yes. what is what is there, then that yeah. That... Part of part of growing up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, I I like to know what kind of child were you uh, in growing up, like in academics and like no culture. I was uh, uh, yes, I was interested in dance and things. 
not yes. not say I didn't properly learn, but I was always included in group dance, Bangra, this that. Oh, okay. But uh, uh, but uh, academics wise, I was uh, above average. Uh, during okay. my first primary schools and all, I used to be the first in class and all. Amazing. But otherwise, uh, uh, you know, as a person, I was an introvert, very quiet, oh. always thinking. Uh, mm. rather than talking yes that kind of a person okay 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 so yeah that uh, that may be the reason that turned you into an author uh so probably, probably. probably. no no that's like one part of that thing uh which made yeah. you think and write and so okay uh yeah. uh yeah that was a thing uh with your childhood and all so uh like in the growing of phase uh, of yours uh what kind of struggles and what kind of lessons did you learn uh that people uh, would love to know because they are in the same phase uh maybe like teenagers what kind of um, uh, hardships uh, was there like you well, were working do you during, have during those times i don't think i realized but when i sit back and when i was in my 20s married with child and all when i came to singapore to live and all when i think back i okay. would say uh, uh, along the journey of mm -hmm. the growing up years mm -hmm. the family the, the bonds and the family support uh, was the only thing that um, yeah. uh, could help me manage my yep. heartaches yeah. uh, during yeah. those times that's all i can say and i'm sure uh, most of us know that <laughs> yeah 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 okay okay it was amazing uh, amazing amazing to discovering your journey now we jump back on your book tabula rasa yes, yes. uh this is a book when i came to know about this book i was literally interested like what this book is all about and there's been buzz about this book on um, like your social media and everywhere people are writing about that book i've seen the reviews before uh, like in the the thing you provided me and that's amazing uh two new listeners to uh, like people who are going to listen to this interview or listen it after a while like month or two months what are they going to experience when they pull out the, the book from the cart and get the book copy from ebooks or amazon kindle or anywhere what are they going to experience can you well, share more uh, and talk more about yes, of your book course, of course of course this book you know uh, for anyone for anyone any reader or even non readers mm -hmm. what is singapore about okay people normally say it's a tourist attraction or ah. it's a shopper's paradise okay right yeah 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 it, it, sure yes a uh, uh, developed nation with mm. uh, with tall sky scrapers and uh, uh with clean um, places clean yeah 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 ours, yeah ours is a clean city yes these are all there these are no one is going to dispute on these things these are mm -hmm. all there Mm -hmm. what more is singapore about okay if anyone wants to know about some history of the colonial singapore singapore okay. under the british and if, yeah, yeah. if if they are interested in knowing about even before that 14th century a little bit of that if they are interested in knowing this is the book oh amazing after uh, a book after any reader read tabula rasa they mm -hmm. will think oh singapore is so much yeah oh, i think that's how they will think Because, and it's yeah. through two important male characters li okay. wei a chinese mm -hmm. local mm -hmm. mutu a, a migrant worker who's coming to singapore to work okay. these two are the main characters to these okay. uh, two men i'm mm -hmm. telling a vast story of singapore okay that's amazing because when i like uh i was reading the description i was like oh man what is this like really discovering and is this really a fiction or uh, yes. I, i was yeah i was really keen to know more about and i was like literally i want to more uh, know more and explore about that book uh so you talked about two characters like uh, one character yes. uh, are you portraying some parts of your with the character uh, like do you say is uh, muthu you said 
Are you portraying yes. some parts of yours with that character? Because authors do, and I've been discovering that. Uh, well, well, well. My writing is uh, different uh, for people who don't know how I write, or uh, those who have not read my books. Mm -hmm. they, they can't find me anywhere. That okay. is the speciality of my writing. They okay, can't okay. find me anywhere. And this book especially is uh, male-centric. The male psychology, mm -hmm. men, mm -hmm. more of men characters okay. and all. I purposely did this challenge of thinking okay. like men, thinking like men. Oh. Uh, going into the male psychology, all those I did purposely to oh. bring out a new flavor. Okay to, okay. to the fiction and fiction in this uh, this uh, book, the contemporary Li Wei and Mutsu and Adnan, so many mm -hmm. characters are coming, and they are living in the present world. Okay, but, uh, but even in the historical those eras that I am creating, mm -hmm. I have created fictional characters. Not just that. I have fictionalized the history. History is not coming as history in my book. Okay. okay. History is fictionalized. Okay. Therefore, amazing. it's more interesting for even for the local who know the history. That yeah. How I am, I am giving the perspectives. So uh, uh, for those who don't know outside Singapore, this is going to be uh, different, totally different. For those yeah. locals who know some history of Singapore, Singapore. even for them, mm -hmm. it is going to be different because I have fictionalized the history part of it, not okay. just the characters okay. and story. So uh, now we jump on the questions like, how long did it took to you to actually complete this whole novel? Mm. I often face this question uh, for mm -hmm. my works, how okay. long you took to complete this novel and all. But I must say this, you know, I write more to discover myself, to okay. align my thoughts, to interact with my readers, mm -hmm. to, to show a world of my universe. Okay. That's what I write about. And so therefore we cannot, I cannot possibly think of uh, a, a flash today, mm -hmm. plan tomorrow, right mm -hmm. day after tomorrow. No, it's never mm -hmm. the case in my writing style. This novel stayed with me for 11 years oh. inside me, shaping and shaping and shaping. Yeah, yeah. So but if you're going to talk about exactly only the writing part of it, uh -huh, it's uh -huh. more than a year. Okay, more than a year. But it was writing, like... Writing, writing, yeah, yeah. rewriting and editing and everything. So more than oh. a year. Okay, okay, okay. So it was uh, in your body, in your mind, uh, it was mind. like a, it was like a, a pregnant, uh, it was like a pregnant baby, like you were pregnant with that story. Uh, because because I be, <laughs> I don't believe in this. I kind being, of look, uh, look, how, how, how I got with that thought is, look, I am a theater mm. student. Uh, I've been uh, sure. doing theater for so long. So uh, this is how we discover a story. Like yeah, uh, they say like mm -hmm. you're pregnant with that thought. And when that mm. whole thing comes out, uh, mm. then you've delivered the baby. So mm -hmm. like uh, <laughs> that's the thought behind like uh, directors and theater directors pulling out the story like uh, mm. every 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 single thing so yeah uh, okay. that was that was great uh, so now we uh, want to know what striked in your mind what was going uh, the thought like it, it took you 11 years okay so it was there for 11 years and what striked in your mind what was going on and how did you think like something happened something striked and you thought like no I'm going to write this down. Now it's the time, and oh. I've been waiting for eleven years, and now, now I have to write it down. I have to put it out okay. in market, and I have to tell the story to the world. Yes, Tabula Rasa should have uh, been published before my previous novel. Okay. Um, but uh, that uh, misplaced heads cut the queue and uh, was pub published before Tabula Rasa. But mm. I wanted Tabula Rasa. Rasa to wait further if it requires waiting because the spark came in me 11 years ago and I have been watching the life around people around the Singapore changing mm. I, I am evolving as yeah. a person as a writer 
everything together this novel is not just about uh, you know um one uh, one year two year no it's it's more about that that the spark itself the novel itself is 11 years but what i i observed as a singaporean in 31 years of my life here will mm. be reflected definitely in the novel uh, here and there in the campus. yeah 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 so yeah. so the research and all uh, took me uh, yeah it's the basic uh, research because i am living here i get to hear many things i always read i take notes sometimes i don't take notes it's always here in the head you know, yeah, uh, yeah. so if I have to really check, cross check on tiny bits, I will go back to the library to check. Otherwise, it's all there because mm. we always hear, mm. hear about things, read about. So, uh, so the research was uh, there, but not say it was so much. So, so but, <clears throat> but like it was your life, uh, uh, like you've been watching this. Yeah, I can, long yeah, time. you can say that. Yes, it is. It is the. The, the life throbbing Singapore yeah, that is reflected yeah, in, yeah. in Tabula Rasa, not me or on one particular person. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Amazing. Amazing to hear that. Uh, now, uh, as this book is all about formation, development, building out uh, of Singapore, like the Singapore we know today, and uh, it starts from the formation of that thing, development and all, and you writing on that. So uh, now I like to know about more of this love story between you and Singapore. So can you tell me well, what kind of connection and all the things? Well, I came to live here 31 years ago and I've been watching people, the, the, the transformation of the landscape, how it is changing, how the, therefore the climate also changing. For example, yeah. uh, when I came 31 years ago, the, the frequency of rains, the, the, the amount of rains oh. 31 years ago was so many times more than what it is today. Okay. So okay. I saw that. I have seen that. It's mm -hmm. just wow. one example of many things. Oh. So it's the place where I call home. So when I come to India, I feel fish out of water. When I come back uh. here, I feel I'm back home. Yeah. So that so. is, so there's no connection. It's more about this is where I belong. Yep. So I have been observing people around the, the, the life here, the diversity here, the, the migrant yeah. population constantly coming in and out of going out of Singapore and how they have contributed to the, to the, to the formation and development. Even today, uh, their uh, migrant workers are contributing. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, those days, those days, 200, 200 years ago, Definitely many, many migrant people have uh, helped in the formation of Singapore as a right. port. Right, right. So, you know, when the Britishers came. Yeah. So uh, the connection for me with Singapore is, it's my home. Yeah, I got you, got you. <laughs> so uh, like you told, like, uh, it's your home. And when you can come to India, it's like pull uh, fish out of the tank. Uh, I'd like to know how you got shifted. Was it the job or was uh, the marriage involved? Oh, oh, oh yes. So how how, how I, did you came to Singapore? Son, yes, when my son was one year old, I came here. My okay. husband got a, a job in uh, someone's shipyard. So okay. uh, he was an, he's an electrical engineer. Okay. You know, so he got a job here. That's how we came here. Yeah. And my second son was born here. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's the journey. That's where it's all started. Yes. Like after the marriage, yes. you just jumped in here. Yes. And then you forget yes. about India. So that's uh, really bad. No, I come <laughs> often to India because my brothers are there. And I have my mother there. And so that's okay. why I, I always come once in a year. Past two years because of the COVID, yeah, yeah. I didn't COVID. come. Uh, I'm waiting now for the things to improve so that okay. I can come once again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're waiting for you. When you come, make sure oh, that sure. India thanks, shows, thanks, shows thanks. Uh, <laughs> more love and you have some kind of uh, like affection towards India when it of when course. it happens. Okay, okay. It was great to know about your love story with Singapore. And uh, yeah, uh, so before we end this uh, uh, about your book, Tabula Rasa, please let us know where it's going to be available. Uh, so uh, like it's on Amazon or 
Snapdeal in India, Paytm, or if it's in uh, Singapore's uh, other websites, please uh, tell in uh, total clarity, like where can people find out this book? Because people are like from different regions. So yes, I'd like yes. to know more clarity where they can find this book. Uh, Tabula Rasa, as of now, is available in Amazon.in. Okay. This book is published by an Indian publisher. Therefore, uh, it's available in Amazon.in. Okay. And uh, like uh, the, my publisher always does, uh, okay. like the uh, last previous books also, he brings it to the world market slowly. It will happen very soon. Okay. And uh, mm. also the Kindle version, he will publish very soon. As of now, the print version is available in Amazon.in. Okay. Okay. And it should, okay. the other things should be available soon. And my Insta handle is... Uh, J e y a n t h t h i. Yeah, I was I was coming out. Yeah, twenty eight. Yes. Uh, yeah. Before, so, uh, like, like uh, I just want to make uh, make something. Like, it's uh, uh, firstly on the book. It's available on Amazon dot in as a paperback version. Yeah. Kindle version yeah. is uh, uh like uh, we have time to see the Kindle version. Very soon. Yeah. Right. Uh, is it available on dot com or dot in? Uh, specifically, uh, like, is it dot available on dot com? dot in dot com will be soon soon okay so now yeah. at the moment when it's going to air it will be available on dot n amazon dot n and soon yeah. it will be there on dot com and kindle yeah. and, uh, and many other such. website you can get yeah yeah what's the publisher's, publisher's website zero degree publishers zero com. degree publishers dot com where you can find tabula rasa by author jayanti sankar okay also my other books uh, and the same yeah, publisher, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and other books are also there on zero. Uh, what zero? Degree just, publishers. Zero degree com. publishers. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, zero degree publishers are official like publishing house for uh, Jayanti Shankar's books. So you can just yes. check out uh, her books uh, on zero degree publishers. I'm just. Well, I don't know. Why I'm missing that. Okay. Uh, so now, uh, before we end this all, uh, I'd like to know where people can connect with you on social media, like Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook. Please mention your social handles. If there is a business mail, you can mention that. Yes, yes, of course. My email is uh, yesjey28 mm -hmm. at gmail.com. Okay. And my Insta handle is uh, J E Y A N T H I S A N K A R 28. And I have uh, Facebook also. Uh -huh. uh, in LinkedIn and uh, Twitter, I'm not as active. Okay, uh, okay, no problem. Facebook, yes. Okay, so Instagram uh, is there. You've mentioned your mail and Facebook, uh, you're uh, by the name, or you're not active more there. Yeah, I am. Uh, uh, okay. www.facebook.com slash J A Y A N T H I dot S A N K A R dot seven slash. That's okay. My okay. Facebook. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, that will be also mentioned for the listeners in the description panel. So just they can go and uh, connect with yes. you. Uh, talk with yes. you, do the things. Yes. You. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, that was that was really great connecting with you, Author Jayanti Sankar. And I hope this uh, this book is really exciting from the first line and first pair of the description. So I know it's going to hit uh, the bestseller list soon as it comes out in all the versions like Kindle and all. So I'm yes. I'm I'm really excited for this, and I'm Thank wishing you. you all the best for your releases and upcoming releases. And thank you for being you. on our show. Thank you for being on Books for You podcast. It was really amazing. Uh, and yeah, I loved it. Thank you, Ajay. Thanks for the podcast. Thanks to Books for You. And yeah. uh, best wishes for your journey as well. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Now I'm going to end the recording. <laughs>